Klopp, klopp. Okay. Miss Turner, how did you get involved with Body Heat? I had uh, gone out to LA, to Los Angeles, to meet with a director on a different film. And the woman who was casting Body Heat heard that I was there, and she knew me by reputation, basically, from New York, where I live and do most of my work, and asked me if I would be interested in the script, and she sent it to me. And I read the script and went crazy. I just loved it immediately. So she set up a meeting with Larry Kasdan and the, and the producer, Fred Gallo. And uh, I read for them. And I suppose that Larry thought he'd found what he wanted. So we, Bill and I tested together, William Hurt, and uh, we got it. Uh, Lawrence, <coughs> Lawrence Kasdan never say why he chooses you. Well, I suppose he saw qualities in me that he had, he had uh, thought of when writing the role. And to my mind, there was an immediate knowledge of the character. When I read it, I felt that I knew very much who this woman was right away. And I guess that that knowledge communicated itself to him. Is the movie very much like you thought it would be uh, when you read the script? Yes, very, very close. I. That was the thing that I was worried about, not ever having done film. I wasn't sure how our work, the actor's work, would translate from just that through the editing and the scoring and the, all the preparation done for a film, how it would end up looking. And when I first saw it, it was exactly what we had wanted it to be. How would you describe the film? Well, it's a, um, I suppose it's called a, a murder love story sort of thing. To me, it's about, um, about obsession, about uh, single-mindedness. I think that the quality of Maddie Walker, my character, has this incredible ability to close everything out of her life except for this thing that she wants. And the power that that generates is fascinating and deadly. Is it so that your femme fatale image in the film, is it a uh, sort of mirror of, let's say, Lauren Bacall in the 40, 50 films, the thrillers? You know, I always have to wonder what Bacall would say if you asked her that question. Uh, I don't know. I, I know that when we started the film, Larry said that, uh, of course, that this was a style that had already been established. But we certainly never it discussed any other film or, or character or actor. And in fact, I have not seen most of those films, though I think I should now. But uh, it, w it was never part of my thinking. Was Lawrence Kazan very specific in his direction? Yes. Oh, How yes. does he work with actors? He is incredibly supportive and trusting. He feels that if he casts the right people, the right actors, with, the, with enough ability, uh, and if he can communicate to them his vision of what this should be, then it's ours to do with as we will. And uh, he has great trust, great support. It's not so that he gives specific directions from... No, he's not an actor. I had a feeling that the atmosphere, the setting, the photography of the film is as much important as the actors themselves. Can you agree on that? And was that also set out from the beginning? Yeah. I mean, Larry has been thinking about this project for years. And uh, being his directorial debut, it was, of course, tremendously important to him. I think that, um, that the cinematographer as well, a man named Richard Klein, is incredible when it comes to light and, and especially the shades of gray of night, and that kind of thing. And he and Larry together put, put, uh, created this atmosphere in which all things are possible. You never have much difficulty with the dialogue because it's not the sort of dialogue that uh, one speaks in uh, daily life. It's not, but it was at the same time so cohesive. And the style, although it was, as you say, heightened, in fact, almost melodramatic, um, was consistent to the point that once you became this character, that's the way she speaks. You know, that's all there is. How was it working with uh, William Hurt? Lovely. Can he's you, a wonderful actor. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, how was the... Well, he's a very, he's a very um, giving actor uh, in terms of... 
it was easier for us because we're both stage trained and basically stage actors. And so we already had a common language to begin with. And then in the scenes, he has more knowledge of film work than I do, obviously, having done several films. Uh, and he was, he was wonderful in, the, in terms of helping me to understand the pacing of the work and, and the intimacy of it. You worked on the stage and you did television work. Is that uh, good preparation for film work? I think the television was. I did a, a daytime serial, what we call soap opera, in the United States. And uh, I had never worked on camera before. So it was, for me, quite an opportunity to learn how to handle the camera. Uh, even though it was video, it was not like film. And there were three cameras or four instead of one. But at the same time, it's good training. And you do almost a show a day. So you learn to make choices and implement them right away, which I think is terrific training for an actor. After a while, though, uh, it just doesn't get good enough. So you've got to leave. So you have more satisfaction doing film work uh, than Oh, much. Than film television. is, I think, can be, the production values are much higher than for television. And at the same time, I think film can be so precise and so almost perfect. It fascinates me. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, yo. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Hurd, when, when you read the script, what attracted you in the story? If I may ask. Um, sure. Uh, the first thing... The first thing I spotted, and this is a very difficult subject, but it is the most important subject, is st structure. Yeah. I noticed that it had a beautifully formed structure. And if it has that, then it's probably about something. I mean, even if you don't know what it's about right away, it will help, that structure will lead you to some wonderful um, questions, at least. And that's basically what it's about. That structure led me to really examine the script and what I thought were uh, its themes and what it meant to me. And so I decided to take a risk. Thank mm -hmm. goodness he offered it to me because I really wanted to do it. Was it a difficult part for you? Part? I don't... It was hard to find um, the... It's always hard. I wouldn't say that the role itself was particularly difficult. I would say that... It's a nice fly, though. I know, it's very nice. Fly. Just a Belgian fly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, the, it w it's the situation. It's the distractions yeah. in any given situation which are the enemy. And in a film set, it is incredible. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. And I think finding and deserving the respect of the, of, of the rest of your co-workers uh, every day, all day, is a tough job. The role yeah. itself... I don't think there's anything particularly demanding about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of characterization, I, I think, I mean, if I had, if Larry hadn't kept me in check, I think I would have, <laughs> I would have been a lot crazier. But. How was it working with uh, the director? With Absolutely Kaza? wonderful. Amazing, amazing um, man and director. That I was, we went out to shoot the very first day. And we were just doing pickup shots, and everybody told me it was going to be just, you know, like nothing. And I said, great, terrific, because I'm scared out of my mind. I don't want to be here. And we went to the beach, and it was dawn. And we were setting up this shot, and he stepped in, and I saw, and we were all waiting, because it was his first time. And it was his first day of his first time. And it's like, you're going to fly, or you're not going to fly, you know? And he, about 15 minutes into it, he just suddenly took a breath and just, that was it. He had been on a set all his life, and no one ever questioned it, ever. That he was one of the most experienced people anywhere. Because he has an amazing capacity to match his motives and goals mm -hmm. to his images. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the strengths of body heat, is that 
what was written on the page. It's pretty much what you see on the, on the screen. That is an amazing thing to do. Most people don't, don't work that way. I mean, they, they carry a bottle of big bag of Band-Aids around with them and they hope that it works out, you know? It's like, it's not, it's not crafted. He is a highly crafted man. I read somewhere that you, uh, um, that you are a famous actor on the stage <laughs> and that suddenly you make three films one after another. Is there yeah, a reason? It was over three years. It was over three years, mm -hmm. but I mean, is, is there a sudden sympathy for film? Or well, did the States, you, you see, yeah. the reason why I finally did allow myself to make the jump was I had always had trepidations about, yeah. about film because of the distractions. I like to work in a highly concentrated atmosphere. I love concentration itself. It's a state that I enjoy. And uh, I knew that there would be a lot of new things in my life if I took on film. Then um, Altered States came along, and, and it was the work. I had to do that piece of work if they offered it to me because it was the work that counted. It was not the trouble you got into for doing it. It was the work, the doing of it. And so that carried me into it, and then I think it made it easier for me to make some more choices afterwards. Is it uh, possible to ask you if there is a preference for the stage? Uh, oh, or no, no, no. no, that's a difficult question because I, I, think, uh, I think acting is one thing. I think it is a, a, a matter of expression. And I don't think expression can be judged that way. I think that I want to look for as many opportunities to express myself as I can. It's, a, it's an obsession. <laughs> expression is an obsession. Mm -hmm. um, there is no essential difference between the two forms, but there is a very large difference between the experience that I have on the stage versus the amount of experience I have in film. And so I am unused to wielding the paraphernalia. It's a matter of paraphernalia, really, not acting. Acting to me is a word that I really hone in on. I don't let any excess baggage get, get hooked to that word. Like, you know, like artist. Don't let any excess baggage get on it, you know? Otherwise, it doesn't go anywhere. Thank you very much.